Well, you got your ham tower up, but you don't have it grounded yet. Oh, let me help you today. Don't pound it in the ground with a sledgehammer or a T-post driver. Let me help you put it in the ground with one bottle of water. Okay, here are the things you're gonna need to uh, get this project done. You're gonna need your ground rod. You're also gonna need that bottle of water and maybe even something like this. It could be a piece of pipe with a cap on it. It doesn't matter. What I like to do is it gets to a point where it gets down pretty low where you can't really, you really can't beat down on it too much. So this right here, you can just put on top of it and just step on it and kind of push it down into the ground. So this, this may come in handy. We'll see how that's gonna play out there. But uh, first things first, <sighs> take a drink of water because <laughs> you won't need all of this. Now, depending on your terrain, some places the ground is so, so hard that it may take that whole bottle of water. And you may have to just beat a, a, a little bit at a time until you get down to some soft soil and then you might get into some hard soil again and some soft soil. It, it's, it, it all depends on where you live. Here, the soil is mm, not too bad. Uh, it's definitely not the, the dry season where the ground is, is extra hard. So it's probably gonna be fairly easy today, but it doesn't matter what time of the year, doesn't matter what soil, I can always get it in with a bottle of water. Now, if you live in a lot of rocky soil, well, that's gonna be difficult for just about any type of method of putting a ground rod in. But if it's a pretty normal soil, you're not gonna have any problem at all. So the first thing, that I do is just get it, just start working it into the top layer there, just enough to get you some water in there so that that water can start working for you. It works as really like a lubricant, uh, like drilling a well, you know, it's just, it's just a lubricant. So take the, take the water, put a little in that hole. Let's see if we can get it started here. There we go. Just just go up and down, just jiggle it back and forth. And you're gonna feel it just going down. Just going down fairly easy sometimes. Sometimes not so much, but we'll see how this is gonna play out today. But usually I can do one in about 10 minutes. It just, it just doesn't take that long. You just keep working it back and forth. And that water in there, again, it's just acting as a lubricant. It's just pushing that, that soil away, pushing that mud away. So it goes pretty easy usually have a lot of trouble at the very end when it gets down to you know this last couple of feet because again you just don't have the the muscle play up here you're down you know real close to the ground it's, it's pretty difficult but as you can see look at that an eight foot ground rod i'm already i'm already in what three feet three or four feet close to it about halfway almost it just goes smooth once it gets down in there Kind of just going up and down but if you feel like you need to add a little water go ahead i don't think so here because it feels it feels like it's uh doing pretty well plus when it gets down deep it gets real thick and it causes like a suction so you might be uh <laughs> you might get to a point where it's hard to pull up and go back down so just just keep working it keep working it <laughs> feel like i'm getting close down to the last two feet. And a lot of times, it's just as easy so you could push down on it, lift up, push it down with this, like that. If you need some help, in fact, it may work that way. Let's see here. Yeah, I felt like it was a soft spot there. There we go. <laughs> Getting to it. And you could just step on it. <laughs> a lot of times that's all it takes. There we go. <laughs> Once that water gets in there, 
it just penetrates. There we go. And that's all it takes. Leave about six, eight inches out of the ground. Strap your wire to it, your clamp, clamp it to the tower. Daddy used to always say, son, work smart, not hard, okay? And I listened to him when he said that. So that's what I want for you. Work smart, not hard. Hey, if you found this video helpful, uh, give us a thumbs up, like, comment, and uh, most importantly, subscribe to our channel. We'd appreciate that so very much.